and welcome to the Around the Table podcast with pastors Matt Smith and Nick Decker. This podcast is all about the ministry and preaching of Lebanon Baptist Church in Greensboro, North Carolina. The goal is to help you grow in your faith and spiritual walk with the Lord every single day of your life. To learn more about Lebanon Baptist Church, visit lbcnow.org. And now your host, Nick Decker. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Around the Table. I'm Nick Decker, your host here, and I'm so excited about today because we have a special guest with us. Uh, Kyle Oakley is here with us today. Uh, Last time you heard from Pastor Matt and myself, uh, but today we're going to interview Kyle Oakley. I'm going to let him tell a little bit about himself and then also uh, talk a little bit about what we're going to talk about today. So we are focusing on the Upward Ministry at Lebanon Baptist Church. And before I go into too much detail, but that, that is the biggest, uh, that's the biggest outreach ministry we do here. And yep. so it is uh, a massive undertaking. And Kyle is our director. So ta- Kyle, why don't you uh, do this for us? Start out by telling us a little bit about yourself, maybe your family, what you do here, because you don't only do upward. How, no, you don't do up, just upward. How long you've been at Lebanon, and then uh, maybe how long you've served uh, in upward. Tell us, tell us all about those things so people can know if they don't know who you are. Sure. Um, married to Amy. My wife, we've been married for... Most important. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. got to get that out. Yeah, got to get that out. Uh, we've been married for 12 years. Um, she's the best real estate broker in the church. If you need anything <laughs> in Greensboro, little, little plug, plug, plug there. Plug. She'll love me forever for saying that. Um, we have three kids. Our daughter Kayla is 12. Noah is nine and Kian is six. So, you know, we're busy, not just with church, but with kids too. And everything else. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like you said, I am involved in several ministries here at church. Um, I just, uh, I've been, you know, I started in Celebrate Recovery um, when we started that ministry back in 2013. And um, so that was kind of my first, you know, foray into ministry here. And then uh, served in that for five years. Um, In 2017, started co-teaching a Sunday school class with Tommy Adams. um, And so I've been doing that ever since, uh, going on three years now with that. Um, And then last fall, we started, Amy and I started a marriage ministry called Reengage here at the church. So... Um, yeah, just been, you know, super busy with, with all of those things. And then, of course, Upwards here. Um, this will be my third year serving in Upwards. Okay. I feel like Nick increasingly gives me more responsibilities. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> every year. Um, but we started attending here at Lebanon um, in 2008. So when Amy was pregnant with Kayla, we started coming here um, with my parents to Tommy's Sunday School class. Okay. Um, and then we joined in uh, the fall of 2013. Okay, so you've been here a good while. Yeah. I always like to put an age, like my age, to when you started coming. So in 2008, I guess I was uh, 16. So keep you a little humble there. I guess I don't know. We were pregnant with our first child. That's right. That's right. Uh, Let me ask you this. Out of all the ministries you do, and this isn't on the, it wasn't on the notes or anything. Out of all the ministries you do at Lebanon, what's your favorite? Man, I don't know that I can put a favorite on it. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's different seasons, which okay. works out good. Yeah. You know, Upwards is a lot of fun. Um, so that, you know, the Saturdays just fly by. Yeah. And, um, they bring a lot of fun to our winter season. But, you know, we have Reengage that goes fall and spring. And then our, uh, our teaching ministry kind of goes year round. So. Yeah. You know, I'm I sure by March well. you, you're probably done with Upward <laughs> <Yeah>. by March. <laughs> you're like, by the time April comes, we're ready for vacation. Ready for something, yeah. <laughs> so. How about this? Tell us, uh, so some people watching may be new to Lebanon or they uh, may have never been involved. They may have heard the term Upward. Why don't you, now Upward, uh, again, is a huge ministry, yeah. huge kind of outreach opportunity for us. And they do several things. We don't do everything Upward offers. Yeah. So why don't you tell us specifically what Upward is? at Lebanon. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Upward here at Lebanon um, is our basketball and cheerleading ministry for K-5 through 8th grade. Um, and it's a great ministry that covers a lot of ages, obviously, but um, it, it gives kids a chance to come in and play basketball or cheerlead um, who may have never done it before. Um, so it's a great introduction into the sport. 
Um, and, but it's also, you know, it's a safe environment. It's a learning environment. Um, and it's also, as we'll kind of get into later, but it's also our opportunity to share the gospel, you know, with all these kids. Yep. Um, and, you know, not so it's not just basketball. I mean, basketball is obviously a big part of it, but and cheerleading as well. But it's sharing the gospel, loving on these kids, loving on these families. Um, and, you know, so it's a great opportunity for us here at church yeah. to do that. Yeah, and how long does uh, Upward go? Maybe, maybe um, explain, is thinking a volunteer and then also a parent that may be interested sure. in putting their kid in the, in the program. Yeah, so um, we'll have evaluations coming up December 10th through the 12th, which is just a couple weeks away. It's not far. Um, so that'll kind of be the first you know, foray into it this season. Um, We will start practices the week of January um, the 4th, which is, uh, you know, right after Christmas break. So uh, we'll we'll start, you know, ramping it up right after Christmas and New Year's. Um, And then our first games will be the weekend of February 6th. So, um, and that runs, if everything goes as planned. No snow. No snow. (laughs) (laughs) No shutdowns. Yes. Um, If everything goes as planned, we'll finish up the last weekend in March. Um, You know, so start to finish, you're looking at three months, basically. Um, Not a huge commitment. No, no. I mean, one night a week, you know, one game on Saturday, and then, you know, that's it. So two hours, basically, of of a parent's time um, or of a volunteer coach or, you know, something like that. I know we'll talk about volunteers in a little bit, but, you know, three months, and it's cold outside, so... What else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? <laughs> you mentioned, uh, you said the word shutdown. I do want to make this clear, too, for those listening and then also uh, those watching this, that we are following all the protocols that are required for a church. Uh, you can read about everything we're doing on our website. So just so you know, we, we're not, you know, trying to trump or throw any kind of authority out the window. We're following all those guidelines um, and uh, we'll keep you updated on that. Hey, tell us, uh, here's the first how. I got several how questions. I always like the how questions sure. when I interview. So here's the first how question I want to ask you. I would love to hear how Upward has impacted your family sure. specifically. Yeah. So it's been a couple different ways. I mean, um, first, when our daughter Kayla was in about second grade, um, and she's our athletic one, so she wants to play everything she can play. And so she wanted to try basketball. I mean, never played basketball before. Um, and we had been coming here. We kind of heard about upwards, but never got involved in it. And she wanted to jump in and, and play. Um, so her second grade year, she played. And, and what year would this be? That would be Put you 2000, on the spot. <laughs> 2014-ish. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so you've been really involved in the in the program a lot longer than three years. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. and really when she first got into it, um, it, it was our opportunity. I mean, we had been become members. Yeah. But we weren't really, like, plugged in anywhere. We weren't serving in any ministries or anything like that. And when we got to come to her games that first season, we really got to see, like, where all these opportunities were. You know, I mean, yeah. we, we started, like, talking to more families, good families on her team, families in the stands. Um, so socializing really kicked up, you know, when, yeah. we, when we started coming to her games. But also just saw the opportunity, like, you know, can we help coach? Can we help scoreboard? Can we, you know, what can we do to really get plugged in? Because it was so much fun, you know, when we came out yeah. and saw our games. I mean, the crowds are great. It's loud. There's music, you know, and the kids are having a great time. So we really started to see then. And so after that, the next year, I think I volunteered with Matt, um, you know. To, Probably voluntold first. Voluntold. <laughs> no volunteered, I'm um, sure. <laughs> to, you know, to kind of jump in and see how how I could help um you know just run it just as a this is kind of as an aside but my dad um he ran the northeast youth basketball association up at northeast middle for I don't even know how many years but um and so some of my best memories growing up as a kid were spending all day Saturday at a gym you know you eat all you want at the good session stand you (laughs) can play basketball (laughs) during halftime you know you kind of run around and have a good time so you know, kind of for me, it was nostalgic. Like, yeah. how can I get back in this and show my kids, you know, some of the same stuff that we did? So it had a bit big impact, and yeah. it really got us plugged in here at church. I mean, because you meet so many people through Upwards. Yep. Um, great church people that just love on you, and you want to be a part of it. Yeah, so. yeah, that's great to hear. So you, you sound like you got some basketball in your blood. It's <laughs> been around bit. for yeah. a while. Uh, yeah. You know, um, 
I'll tell you this. It, I love to hear those stories because Upward, again, is not just a basketball league. Right. I mean, we do it. Ultimately, see people come to know Christ as we'll get into a second. Yeah. But you, you do get to meet people. You get to meet right. church people. You get to meet unchurched people. Yeah. You get those invitations. And so that's huge. I've heard from several families, and uh, I'll just share a little bit uh, just how Upward has impacted uh, their families yeah. alone, how they've come to our church, how they've gotten involved simply because they came to a basketball and cheerleading right. program. Yeah. So it, it's a big deal, and we love just to hear how that's impacted your life um, and then also others as well. Hey, let me ask you the why. This is the biggest question, sure. okay? Uh, probably the biggest question I'm going to ask you today. Why do we do Upward at Lebanon? If a member were to ask you, okay, they come up to you maybe on Sunday and they say, Kyle, uh, I hear you say what Upward is. Uh, maybe in four minutes, three minutes, tell us what is Upward about or why do we do Upward? Yeah, well, for me, it's one reason, and that's to share the gospel, um, you know, share the good news of, of Jesus Christ. And um, we get to do that through a sport, you know, which is great, obviously, because um, it, it gets the kids, you know, into it. You build up their trust with their families as well, um, you know, and so sharing the gospel throughout the season but also we get to love on the kids you know yeah. we get to love on the kids we get to love on their families yeah. some of these families maybe have never been in church before um you know and so we get them to walk in our doors for the first time and we get the opportunity to show them that we love them you know our community right here in northeast greensboro right around us they walk through our doors and you know we get to show them that we love them not make them feel like outcasts or anything like that and um you know throughout the season we get the opportunity to share the gospel with them you know as coaches as volunteers you know things like that and um the parents will hear it too at least once a season the kids will hear it at least once a season probably more yeah um you know so that's that's really why we do upwards yeah. here is to reach our community but also to share the good news of jesus yeah yeah i think uh that's the main thing we got to get across is that it's it's not i always use the phrase it's not about you because it's about yeah, the kids absolutely. it's about the unsaved people coming yeah. to know uh jesus christ that's why we do it that's why we yeah. love to be involved because we want to see people get saved mm-hmm. and i tell you that that gets me excited i'm i'm got goosebumps now thinking about the the opportunity <laughs> we get i get excited when yeah. we start talking about that it, stuff it so. is it is hey let me ask you the second how so i ask you the first how uh how it impacted you uh, let's say somebody wants to get involved yeah. how can they uh join upward maybe as a volunteer right so <laughs> There are um, a number of opportunities, you know, to, to become involved in church and, I, and, and upward. And I just want to say, I mean, we get over a thousand people to come to our campus through our doors for eight Saturdays in a row yep. um, during this time. But in order to do that and in order to do it successfully, it takes over 100 volunteers each Saturday. Oh, yeah, easy. Um, and, you know, so there, there are a wealth of opportunities um, we need. Coaches are our biggest need because um, it's our goal, and I don't, I'm not afraid to state it, but it's our goal to have 26 head coaches that are members here at Lebanon or faithful attenders um, who we know and trust and, and have shown the ability to love and, and give of themselves. And so we, we need 26 head coaches. I mean, that's our biggest need. And that's not hard. No, I mean, no, 26. 26 doesn't sound like a lot, yeah, right? That's, that's not hard to um, get. We should be able to get that, no problem. <laughs> Yeah, and we always get our head coaching spots filled, but it's not always with church members. Yeah. You know, it's it's with uh, folks that have kids playing, and we want those folks to be coaches. Yeah. But we also want to have, you know, somebody from Lebanon um, be involved with every single team in a leadership way. Yep. Um, you and I can't coach every team, even though you try. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> wish. Like I love teams. to coach. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but, you know, it would just be great to have more. But so coaching is our biggest need, but there's obviously a lot more places. We need referees every single Saturday, um, you know, to help us with that. We need scoreboard operators. We have concession stand workers. We need greeters. I mean, even people just to make sure the, the stands are, are clean and yep. look nice as a good representation, yeah. you know, for our church. So. There's a ton of opportunities. Yep. And, I, you know, people always come up to me and they say, well, I don't know anything about basketball. I can't be a head coach. Okay, well, I always ask them, if you can't coach, can you blow a whistle? And, yeah, I don't really yeah, want to be a referee. <laughs> okay, if you can't blow a whistle, can you flip a hamburger? Well, yeah, can you push a button on a, you know, scoreboard? Like, yeah. 
can you if you can't do that, can you say hello to people? Yeah. Like there's there's so many different ways. Tons you can get of ways. So um, you know, just come see me. I know we'll get into how they can connect here in a little bit, but come see me and I will get you somewhere. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I think uh going back to what you said about hey, I don't know how to coach. Well, I want to ask him, I mean, do you want to see people get saved? Right. <laughs> you Absolutely. know, like of course, you yeah. know, so we can find you a place to right. uh 100%. to volunteer. Hey, tell us how so let's say somebody's watching this, they're coming under the conviction from the Holy Spirit. I'm sure at this point, how <laughs> that's right. How do they sign up? How do they sign up as a volunteer? Where, where do they need to go? Yeah, so we really want our volunteers to sign up now, so okay. that we can we can see what we have and where we can get them and things like that. So the best way is to go to lbcnow.org. Um, right on the front page, there's an upward app ad, so you can just click right there. As soon as you click on it, it'll say volunteer registration. Um, and then you, once you go in there, you can choose between coaching, refereeing, or an, in another capacity, which in that case will we'll get you somewhere yeah. you know that you need to be. Um, and then you can also text the word UPWARD to 336-347-4601. Once you do that, we'll get you, we'll get you plugged in well, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, those are pretty easy ways to do it. Again, uh, all you got to do is go to our website. We'll put the link in the show notes and then also underneath the YouTube video or YouTube channel. Uh, video and then also we'll put the number there to text as well hey last how question i told you had a couple here yeah um so we heard the why we heard how they can get involved how they can make a difference in in a life um maybe there's some people out there too that say hey you know pastor nick kyle we love what you do we just cannot give up our saturdays um we maybe work we have stuff going on family uh situations that we just cannot give up our saturdays and i completely understand that yeah, i mean i know you do we, we we get it not everybody can give their their saturdays right. for three solid months or two solid months but maybe there are other ways people can serve and yeah. I, I know there are so maybe uh spend some time talking about uh some other ways people can get involved in upward if they can't you know spend a saturday here or if they can't coach what right. else can they do well, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big financial need. You know, obviously we are um, inviting our community in, and, and not everybody can afford to do it, you know, especially during this year that's been so crazy and job losses and, um, you know, working from home and kids learning remote. Um, there's a big financial need, you know, out there. And so one, one way that we do provide, you know, for our community so that those who can't afford it do get to come in and play and ultimately do get to hear the gospel because that's, like we said, that's the one reason yeah. why we do it all. Um, we, we provide scholarships. Um, they have to submit an essay um, and basically an application, you know, for the scholarship. But last year we gave out, um, I, I think, almost 15 scholarships yeah. to players. And I know our Sunday school class and, and one person in particular covered at least 10 of those mm-hmm. by themselves. And so um, we need that. You know, it's a it's a great way that if you can't be physically involved, you can be spiritually and financially involved. Yep. And then, of course, the other way is to pray. You yep. know, pray for our ministry, pray without ceasing, um, for upward for our community, for for the volunteers, for the parents, for the the players. Um, last year we did pray for a player, and I think it went so well. You know, to love on our community, yep. invite them to church. You know, just send them with a hey. You know, I love you. I'm praying for you. Um, so that's a great way, you know, to get involved with Yeah, that. Yeah, I think uh, going back to that first one, it's only $65. Right. That's it to sponsor a player, $65 flat. That covers their whole mm-hmm. season, literally yeah. the whole season. The whole uniforms. Uniforms, everything. Yeah. We're not asking for anything outside of $65 for one player. Um, so that's not much. And then, and then again, the pray for the player, like you said, we're actually going to do that again. So we'll have everybody an opportunity to do that. So there's several ways uh, you can get involved. You can also promote it as well. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, that's, um, that's a big thing, you know. If, and not just, I mean, Facebook is obviously huge for us uh, for marketing and advertisement, um, you know. But if you're just having a conversation with somebody and they say, you know, my kids have been stuck at home since March last year and uh, I just need to get them to do something, well, there's your opportunity, yeah. you know, to promote Upward. Um, you know, the Next Door app, I don't know, you know how many Love people it. are familiar with that, yeah. but... Um, we had three kids register in one day through a message on next door. That's I mean, crazy. They literally just put out like, hey, we're looking for a basketball you know, program this winter. Everybody else is canceled. Does anybody know of one? And I just said, hey, we got upwards, Lebanon, here's our information. 
that kid plus two other kids from the same message. That is awesome. End up signing up. So, all, all through one post on next door. One Nextdoor. post, looking, just looking for something to yeah. do. Yeah. So next door, Facebook, word of mouth, you know, just tell your family and your friends and yeah. get it out there. That's huge. Man, that's good. I, I appreciate you sharing all that. So the, the how's there, you guys kind of see what we mean. Here's how you can get involved. Here's how you can support us. As we close today, Kyle, let me ask you, are there any last words you kind of want to say? Anything that maybe we didn't add, didn't say? Is there anything you want to add? It's just, it's just such a good opportunity for our church to welcome in our community hmm. um, in a way that makes people feel loved. You know, we felt loved in 2014 when our daughter first started playing. And it made us want to become more involved in church. Um, we have five couples just in our Sunday school Bible study that joined the church just in the last couple of weeks because they started at Upwards. Hmm. And so, you know, it's just, it's, it's the best opportunity, in my opinion, to get a thousand people on a Saturday for eight straight weeks to come through our doors. And we just have the opportunity to love them, yeah. you know, yeah. to show that we care about them and we care about our community. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. I always say, you know, when... When is it in your life you get to spend three months with lost people? Right. Like exactly. literally, and they come to they us. Come to us. <laughs> they come to us. And they want to listen to <laughs> us. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's a great opportunity for, yeah. for that. And, man, I love to hear your heart, and I appreciate uh, you sharing today and, and coming on around the table. Hey, as we close today, uh, Pastor Matt, I wanted to mention, will be on uh, with us next time to discuss his new sermon series coming up uh, this Christmas season. We're really looking forward to that. I've, I've, I've really enjoyed talking to him about that. We promise uh, you will not want to miss it. Kyle, thanks again Absolutely. for joining us on Around the Table. Glad um, to be here. Yeah, that's good. Hey, if anybody wanted to connect with you social sure. media wise, yeah. uh, where can they connect with you? I am on the socials. Okay. <laughs> uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, you know, I think my contact information is on the Upward page on our on our website yep. as well. So, you know, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, um, connect with me that way. Perfect, perfect. Hey, thanks again, and uh, we appreciate you being on here. Our sponsor of this podcast is Lebanon Baptist Church in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, to learn more about Lebanon, visit lbcnow.org. We'll put all the links in the show notes to how you can volunteer, get involved, uh, and then also if you're looking to make a donation or support uh, you know, a scholarship or two, uh, contact Kyle. Yep. Uh, his email will also be in the, uh, the show notes as well. Uh, to listen to Pastor Matt's sermon from this past Sunday or any Sunday that is, you can again visit lbcnow.org or you can check out our YouTube channel as well. We put all the links there uh, to all those platforms in our show notes. Again, thanks for joining us and we will see you next week. Thanks for joining us for Around the Table, a discussion all about the ministry and preaching of Lebanon Baptist Church. If you would like to learn more about Lebanon Baptist Church, visit lbcnow.org. Make sure to follow Lebanon Baptist Church on Facebook and Instagram, as well as subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thank you for listening.